So I've been doing this social media thing for a long, long, long time now. Probably about eight years, nine years, eight years. We've done okay. We've had a good run. Um, but views are down. I think it's uh, I think it's time to call it quits. What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's review is going to be on this Pioneer hoodie in blue and grey. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Now we have come a long, long, long way over the past eight years. That's part of a decade now that I've been creating my, my videos for, you know? To the point where we have got to the point where this is my job. Even with just 5k, 5,000 subscribers, that is it. This is my job. This pays my bills. This pays my rent. This is how I earn my money. You know? Um, I've got sponsorships. I earn commission from said sponsorships on top of that and all that kind of stuff. Of course, I run my business media by LSJ. LSJ Media alongside that as well, right? This is my job. We've built it up to the point where it can be so. And I say we. Together we will grow. We have done this together. You know? Um, so I think it's fair to say mission accomplished. We've done it. We had a good run. But I think it's time to uh, hang up the camera metaphorically should we say, um, and try something new, is what I would say if I was a pussy. I have really, 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 really tried hard over the past few months to kind of find what is an impossible balance, right? For me, myself, my life, my busy schedule with work, with, with social life, with the gym, Finding a balance with everything is, I have come to realize, impossible, right? Um, it's something that everybody talks about, it's something that everybody loves to preach. Finding that balance, find this, find that, you can do this and you can do that, but the reality is, you can't. Not not really. Unless you are the one in a million that, that can do whatever and just, you basically shit gold and anything that you do makes money, creates money, and just everything, like, unless you are that one in a million billion, you can't, you can't, you know? Um, something, somewhere has, has got to give. Um, whether it comes from your work life, your, your, your social life, or sleep, even, right? You know, you put these three, three things in a triangle. You want to have a good work life and, and enough sleep, then, well, you're probably going to sacrifice a bit of your social life. You want to have a good social life, but also have a good, um, what, which one was at the top here? You want to have a good social life, but also have enough work, get enough work done. You know, you've got to sacrifice some sleep. One of these things has to kind of, something's got to give, right, at some stage. And I have just at some stage, I don't know how or where or why, over the past few months come to realise that this kind of trend, for me in particular, really, really does apply. Because if I want to have, like, get every bit of work that I need to do done, which is a lot, I put a lot on myself, right? Too much at times. <laughs> but I also want to have a social life, I've got to sacrifice this sleep. But then you can only do that for so long, because you can only not sleep for so long, right? So something has to come, but I can't let up on the work, because that's what pays my bills. So I have to pull something from the social life instead. I have to pull social life for a few weeks, you know, focus on work and getting enough sleep. Bearing in mind, Jim is all in the middle of all of this as well. Like, the gym, the gym is a massive part of me, my personal brand, and just me. My mental and physical health is so important to me. It is quite literally my livelihood. I'm a my protein athlete, you know? Something's got to come from somewhere. And so, realizing that over the past few months has been one of the best things that I could have possibly done. Saying, I want to go to this event. Right, but I've got to get all this work done. So realistically, I'm only going to have a few hours sleep on this night. I d do I want to go to this event? Yeah, I really want to go to this event, so I'm just going to have to sacrifice that sleep and deal with it, right? Sometimes it's the other way around, where it's like, I can't sacrifice that sleep because I'm fucked, because I've been doing too much work, which is at the top of this little triangle, you know? Um, so yeah, 
I've come to realise that and, and maybe maybe that probably not but maybe that can help somebody you know I hope if someone kind of told that to me a, a little while ago I would have felt a little bit better about myself like uploading twice a week in itself is, is, a, is a commitment to YouTube you know you get all these biggest YouTubers the biggest ones the top of the game right I'm a my protein athlete but I'm just little Liam you know like my protein will continue without LSJ you know but my protein if they lost someone could throw out a million names. I'm not going to offend people by putting people at the top and other people not at the top. A big name, a big my protein athlete. If they if they lost someone else, that it would be a big detriment to them. Whereas if they lost little old Liam, it's not such a big deal, you know. You have all of these people that are at the top that have the funds that that can hire videographers, editors that can quite literally pay someone to even post on their freaking Instagram for them, you know. And even they complain at once a week, right? let alone twice, on your own, on top of having a business and all this kind of stuff. Granted, this is a position that I put myself in. However, it is the reality of my life, right? Um, twice a week is a commitment. So I think in the future, in the near future, there will be... How can I phrase this once I've said it? I've said it. Changes. The series is called Change, and I am embracing it. The series is called Change, and what change has there been? Fuck all, right? Something's got to change. Something's got to give. Changes will be coming, ladies and gentlemen. But these people at the top, right? Um, going back to the whole triangle thing. Something's got to give for them. Because they're building their own businesses in the same way that I am now, right? On a lot of the time, a lot bigger of a scale. But the point and the principle is the same, right? They are building something, Okay? So from their work life, social life, their, their gym, everything, something's got to give from somewhere at some point. And for those people, often at the top, because they can afford it to be the thing that they, they, they give, their YouTube kind of goes to the back burner because they're busy in meetings, on phone calls, the people all over the freaking world, you know, sorting and building these massive businesses, right? So YouTube is the thing that has to give for them. Maybe every now and then it should be the thing that I have to give, you know? But having said that, I am going fucking nowhere. I'm not fucking leaving! I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> the show goes on! With all of that being said, I want to draw your guys' attention to something that happened in my life very, very recently that really massively helped me come to this realisation, right? Um, I've kind of slowly but surely gravitated towards this point of view over the past few months anyway, but I recently went to Creamfields, right, the festival. I mentioned it once or twice in the build-up, but actually, funnily enough, since I've been, you haven't seen or heard a wink from it, right? The reason being... That is the first time, the first time since starting my YouTube channel over eight years ago that I had any time away from my laptop. Any. Wherever I have been, whether it is a family holiday to, to centre parks or if I've been to a city break with whoever, right? I have always had my camera because I wanted to film it. I love creating memories. It is why I started my channel, right? It is why I have so consistently, what was the word, and stubbornly stuck to this schedule because I want to, you know? I want to do this. That's why I'm still doing it. You won't find many people that still do it with such little return. I love this shit more than most. And because of that, I will work harder to get it done than most. Not than all, I never say, I never say than, than all, but than most, you know? So anyway, I was at Creamfields and I had no choice but to do absolutely nothing. My phone wouldn't even work. I told myself I was going to go and film lots of stuff, which I which I did, but like I couldn't upload anything. I had to I scheduled my videos ready to go Wednesday, Sunday, blah blah blah. That was all done, okay? But I told myself I was going to go and I was going to do TikToks. I told myself I was going to go and post stories every day it's just just to kind of keep people in the loop and share this experience with everyone in the same way that I have done for the best part of a decade now. I wanted to do that. But I couldn't, 
right? Obviously, I'm not going to leave my laptop in a tent. Obviously, I'm not going to leave my camera in a tent at a freaking festival where a bunch of people are just, let's face it, off their rocker, right? I'm not going to do that. This stuff is worth money and it pays for. It's my. It's like my dad losing all of his tools or getting his tools stolen, you know? You can't fit someone's kitchen if you haven't got a hammer or a saw. <laughs> Showing my expertise in kitchen fitting there. But um, you know what I mean. You get what I'm trying to say. Um, if I lost this, it would be the end of it. So I recorded some stuff on my phone, which I will be posting... Um, on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, once I kind of get round to it. But I will be doing that at my own pace, not on the but on the dot like I normally and always would, you know. So if you're still here in this rant, thank you. Drop this video a like. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I was at Creamfields and I had no choice but to do absolutely nothing. I couldn't send a phone. I couldn't send a text message. I couldn't make a phone call. I couldn't upload to socials. I had nothing. And that is the first time that that has ever happened. And fuck me. Oh my god, did I need that. Like, I had no idea how much I needed that. I had no clue how much I needed to just do nothing. And just look after myself. Just be there, be present, and be there for me. Creamfields did that for me, and it really, really helped me with this whole analogy of work life, social life, and, and sleep, and all that kind of stuff. Because, granted, I didn't get the sleep, so I suppose two things got taken <laughs> like the work and the sleep got taken. But the social life was fantastic, you know. So, hopefully, if you guys can, can take anything from this video, it is do something for yourself. Because, to be honest, I had this underlying level of just anxiety. Um, to be away from my camera, to be away from my laptop, thinking that everything that I spent the last decade building would just crumble, right? That was the mentality that I was in before this festival. And as stupid as it sounds, going to that festival is the best thing I have ever done because fuck me, it helped me deep inside. This is so cringe and this is so just... <sighs> Whatever. It's how I feel. It's how I feel. Hopefully this video has helped someone. And I hope you have enjoyed just sitting and ranting, listening to me rant. Thank you for listening, if you have not already. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, comment down below your favourite part. Do you agree? Have you tried this? Have you ever been away from everything? Everything. Had a social media detox? That's quite literally what it was for me. And it was bloody brilliant. Thank you all so much for watching. Like the video, all that jazz. Together, we will grow. Next video is going to be a sick one because I have freedom! We have got Alphalete videos coming. We've had a Gymshark video coming. We've had a Gymshark video just been, even. Cool videos that I've wanted to make for years now are finally coming with this. A little bit of freedom that we have now. So with that, cheers. I will see you in the next one. I should have like sat forwards because there's a lovely little like I'm in, I'm in the dark here but there's a nice little sun kiss anyway